Good morning and welcome to The Home Show. Mike Pace is my name, coming to you from the Ankeny Market Pavilion. And of course, Ragbri rolls into Ankeny this year. Ragbri has become an international event, of course, with people from all over the world discovering Iowa's rolling hills and small towns and not so small towns. And I predict Ankeny uh, will be maybe their favorite stop because it's going to be absolutely at a peak attendance-wise this year, the 50th year of Ragbri. We'll talk to Scott Sumter about the Bike Iowa people and the trails surrounding Ankeny, more than 100 miles of them. And Derek uh, Lord will be here with the economic development people in Ankeny to talk about the growth and the opportunities uh, to call Ankeny home. Then Tierney Virko from Iowa Realty will join us and we'll take a tour of a special featured home this week, Northwest Ankeny, Northwest 33rd to be specific. And of course, our usual menu of uh, Iowa Realty listings and open houses you can visit this afternoon on The Home Show. Stay with us. Here's a brand new listing to kick things off with Amy Dempsey in West Des Moines. Four bedrooms, three baths, nicely updated home, move-in ready, close to schools, the bike trails, the parks, and so on. Lots of nice trees, back deck shaded nicely, 355. Stephanie Wright, three bedrooms, three baths, uh, nearly 2,500 square feet here, another new listing. Lower level is finished, it's a walkout, and lots of updates. Good price here of 329.9. Holly Krager from Iowa Realty, a rare ranch here in Scenic Point, the neighborhood. Custom built brick home surrounded by mature trees, private views of that yard. A lot of charm here and a good price of $449. Next up, Sachi Calra with open house one to three this afternoon. Open floor plan, five bedrooms, four baths, story and a half home here, and lots of updates recently. Price tag of $579.9, and uh, Sachi will be there from one to three. Frank Hansen, open house on the early side, noon to three today. Four bedrooms, four baths. Neighborhood is called Ashworth Estates. Three season porch, a nice feature, big primary bedroom at a price of $475. Next up, this is Mill Ridge Townhome Living. Deborah McGee with four bedrooms, four baths here. It's a, a better than new two story. Uh, double garage, of course, pool in the neighborhood, lawn and snow removal taken care of, $339.9. Almost one acre of the setting here, Mary Kay Michelson with five bedrooms and six baths. A quail park area surrounded by wonderful homes. This big two-story, big square footage, and a price tag of $9.55. Scott Steelman wants to talk townhomes. CCS is the builder. They're going to be quiet, energy efficient. You're going to have a nine-inch wall between you and the neighbor. Open house one to four today. Price of $320,900 for this one. Jim Bear in Waukee now with four bedrooms and four baths. Neighborhood is South Fork. A lot of curb appeal here. Wonderful neighborhood. A story and a half overlooking the lake. Brand new listing at 729. Kevin Patterson, five bedrooms and four baths here. A two-story Shadow Creek neighborhood, close to Grant Reagan Elementary School. A lot of uh, quality features here. Lower levels finished and a price of 456. Danny Junius now at a new price, uh, down to 465,990. Three bedrooms and two baths here. Lower level potential for extra square footage. This is Kettlestone Ridge, new neighborhood in Waukee. The builder here is Paramount Homes. This is the Cypress plan. It's a two-story and AJ Calra with open house one to three in Waukee. Four bedrooms, three baths, good square footage, no closing costs with a preferred lender and ask about upgrades, 648.9. Sunny Green now in Urbandale with three bedrooms and four baths. She calls this a regular nature oasis, story and a half plan. Uh, First floor owner suite, very private from the rest of the home. Good price of 470. Rick Wanamaker, we were recently on location here with an interview with Rick. This uh, home has a beautiful pool in the backyard and pool season is here. Lots of features and a million 295. Next up, John Smith from Iowa Realty, town home for you. At Meadowbrook, two bedrooms and two baths. Lower level is finished. There's a private patio in the Urbandale School District. Uh, an abundance of closet space here, and 179.9. Mary Schmidt now in Urbandale, four bedrooms, four baths, spacious family home, oversized walk-in closet in the primary bedroom, four season room is a nice feature, 349.9. Mike Bray from Iowa Realty, setting here is three quarters of an acre in the Waukee School District, Urbandale address, 
It's Allerton Park, better than 4,100 square feet of quality and a price of $7.15. This is uh, Northwest High School, uh, Waukee School District, and Jody Gallick with a nice Urbandale home, five bedrooms and four baths, 2,500 plus square feet, fully finished walkout lower level, $5.75. Well, if you like contemporary, something special here. Four bedrooms and three baths. Layla Frazy in Urbandale. Stunning modern home with cutting edge design. Top of the line features. Lots of storage, 729. Open house two to four with Kristen Davis in Urbandale. Uh, Eastern Sunlight. Nice walkout ranch here from MJ Custom Homes. Good square footage and quality features and insulation everywhere you look, 569. Next up, Sharon Rooney. Four bedrooms, three baths. The builder is SJ Home Builders. About 4,000 square feet here. Sophisticated ceiling details and tall ceilings. Pantry in the kitchen, 769. And Joe Eisenhart in Clive. Open house today, one to three. Five bedroom home from CCS, the builder. Carter Ranch plan here with triple garage, lower level finished, Energy Star designation, 520. Follow Iowa Realty TV on Facebook. Well, I'm here at the Ankeny Market Pavilion, and Ragbri is going to be rolling into this spot here in Ankeny very soon. I predict it may be their favorite uh, stop on, on the ride this year because uh, of all that Ankeny is going to bring to the table for those uh, bikers. And I'm here with Derek Lord Hello, with the Economic Development Department in um, Ankeny. You've been here for all of this growth over the last five years or so, and it's mm -hmm. just been phenomenal. Yeah, we've seen a lot of growth, not just the last 10 years, but long before that, Ankeny's been growing for a long time in all sectors, which has been great. Oh, exactly. Uh, plenty of great restaurants and hotels uh, and opportunities for uh, residents of Ankeny with the great schools and it's just kind of a perfect circle with commute in any direction, so handy with I-80, 35 access. It just really becomes uh, one of the top spots in the city, in the state, for uh, homeowners. And of course, we're in the business of homeowners, right? Yes, absolutely. We <laughs> issue permits for about 1,000 new homes a year. So we've been growing wow. by about 2,500 people. Absolutely. So when Ragbri comes to town, what are you going to do? You're going to roll out the red carpet. I we bet. absolutely are. We have two great entertainment districts planned for the day. We got a lot of amenities and attractions in both districts. And we're also excited to show off our community and our recreational trails and the amenities. We pride ourselves on our, trek, our biking community and our trail infrastructure. So we're excited to show that off. I, I understand 100 miles of connecting trails to Ankeny and 15 miles within the city itself. Yes, well, actually, there's 100 miles within the city of, oh tra of trails, so you can get basically anywhere in the community on either a wide sidewalk or a trail. That's amazing. Derek Lords with the Economic Development people here in Ankeny. So let's find out a little bit more about all these trails and opportunities for these Ragbri riders, and that will be with Scott Sumter, who's with Bike Iowa. Now that's what I call an entrance. Scott, great to see you. Great to see you, Mike. Scott Sumter is with Bike Iowa, and right out of the box, talk about what Bike Iowa really is, Scott. So Bike Iowa is a uh, statewide resource that uh, pretty much educates cyclists and, and everybody else on, on what psych Iowa has uh, for cycling. Um, events, trails, advocacy. Well, you know, Iowa uh, historically has had a bit of a chip on its shoulder but without the mountains and the ocean and so on, but you know, that's all changed with all the wonderful growth in Iowa in recent years, and Ankeny has been a, at the pinnacle of that. And of course, biking with Ragbri and the wonderful trail systems in Iowa puts us on the map. It definitely does. I mean, like you say, no oceans or mountains, and I actually use that quite a bit in my, sure. when we talk about things. But we got, what we have is world-class trails and world-class people. I mean, our communities, the way they tie together, there's, even though you come in for Ragbri, you spend a week here, you're gonna wanna come come back and that's part of our job too is to help people understand what we have to offer outside of Ragbri. And too. we talk about Ankeny may be their favorite stop. You mentioned off camera that this might be the busiest day of Ragbri in history. So it's a it's the fiftieth year of Ragbri, Ragbri L, and we're coming from Ames to a Ames to Des Moines and Ankeny's on along that stop. So we go from uh, we go from uh, Slater, Madrid, Polk City and then Ankeny. So Ankeny is a meeting town. We will double the population of Ankeny, and that's in the mid-70s, thousands right now. And Scott, of course, the food, 
uh, is a big part of it, but there's going to be entertainment big time. Entertainment. So this year, Ragbri took over the expenses for entertainment for all the overnight communities. So they've really ramped that up uh, to the next level. So once you leave Ankeny, I mean, you want to spend some time here. It's the shortest day, but uh, go down to Des Moines. Leonard Skinner is playing that night, and they got a bunch of opening bands too. Fantastic. Thanks to Scott Sumter with Bike Iowa. Thank you. Thanks, Appreciate Mike. it. Go to Iowa Realty TV on YouTube and Facebook for our featured home tours. Hear about communities where you might want to live, home design trends, and more. For what's happening in the housing market, it's Iowa Realty TV. Another new listing, this one in Johnston with Gerald Steenhook from Iowa Realty, about 1,100 square feet here. Buy attached home with two bedrooms, two baths. Vaulted ceilings, nice open kitchen. This one will go quickly, priced at $237.5. Karen Helgeson, also in Johnston, three bedrooms and three baths in the original Green Meadows here, a well-maintained ranch on just about half an acre. Quiet neighborhood close to parks, shopping and schools, and a price of $374.9. Matt Fuelberth in Grimes. This home is gonna need some work, frankly, some cosmetic updates as well as a big project, but it could be well worth it a brand new listing at 225, check it out. Sandra Estrada now in the city of Des Moines with a three bedroom home completely redone. Big yard, detached garage, two driveways here, extra potential square footage in the lower level and a long list of updates, 194.9. Holly Crager with open house today from two to four. Lovely tree lined streets south of Grand. This two story is very charming, brick patio. Uh, Hannawalt School Art Center nearby, 455.9. Another new listing, Carrie Brueger with a four bedroom, two bathroom home, Hannawalt Merrill School District here. Nice open floor plan, private yard, roof is nearly new, some updates, and a good price of 249.9. John Smith with a new listing, two bedroom home in Beaverdale with two bath areas. It's close to that interurban bike trail. Good spot here. Walking distance to shopping and restaurants. Oversized double garage, 225. Marcia Wanamaker now with a four bedroom, five bathroom home on three quarters of an acre, a park-like yard. Brand new listing. It's had one owner, wonderful two story, 5,800 plus square feet here for a million 390. Kendra Caps with two bedrooms and two baths, condominium living, third floor. Immaculate condition, south of Grand location, brand new listing, single car detached garage, plenty of storage, 120. Richard Delagardel now with a two bedroom, two bathroom home, updated nicely, quiet neighborhood. Uh, new LVP flooring throughout, new windows, lots of new doors, new siding, new roof, and a good price of 192. Jared Snover from Iowa Realty, noon to three open house today. This home is priced below tax assessed value at 252.5, about 1,300 square feet, three bedrooms and two baths. Julie Campbell now from Iowa Realty with a three bedroom home, a remodeled kitchen, new appliances as well, tiled bathroom, new vanity, floor coverings are new, quiet wooded neighborhood, 250. Carolyn Linner now with a four bedroom, three bathroom, wonderful brick home in the Waterbury neighborhood. A big open kitchen, appliances nearly new, charming St. Charles cabinetry, primary bedroom uh, is a special one at a price of $475. Kim O'Connor, three bedrooms, two baths, and a new price of $225. The roof, the paint, the carpet have all been updated. They've added a couple of egress windows, double, a detached garage is oversized, again $225. Sue Randleman now with open house one to four, a two bedroom home, a big eat-in kitchen with appliances, living rooms good sized, first floor laundry, uh, lower level is uh, unfinished and a price of 164.9. BJ Knapp now, we go downtown, open house one to three, this is a terrific brownstone in the heart of downtown, spacious floor plan, excellent condition, fabulous rooftop patio and a price of 425. Holly Craiger now, we were recently on location here, special feature home. A garden walkway takes you to this home, a hidden front door, four bedrooms, four baths, charm everywhere and a price of $589.5. Muhammad Ali now with a two bedroom, two bathroom condominium, third floor, nice open floor plan. This is a new price by the way of $219.9. Kitchen has granite and stainless steel, again $219.9. 
Next up, Gerald Steenhook with a four bedroom, two bathroom, one owner home that has had the same owner, believe it or not, for more than 60 years. Ready for a new family. Nice area south of Grand, quiet street, 450. Steve Camerona, three bedroom home, move in ready, fits your budget. Just about everything has been done for you. The roof is new, water heater and plumbing are in working order. New light fixtures, fresh paint, 162.5. Open house one to three with Sarah Gaskell, three bedrooms and three baths. This brownstone has been completely updated on Grand Avenue. Turnkey condition, move in ready. Big eat-in kitchen and a price tag of $469.9. Sarah can also talk to you about this charming home on 37th Street sitting on an acre set back nicely from the street south of Grand. Big square footage, lots of charm, and a price of $1,250,000, room for a pool. Next up, Catherine Driscoll with a four-bedroom home, three bath areas, 2,700 plus square feet here. Of course, downtown, the airport, Wakanda, Grays Lake, very convenient. Sits on number five of that Wakanda golf course, 975. Open house in Ankeny with Tom Hyde, one to four today. Four bedrooms and four baths, 3,560 square feet here in Carlson Ridge Estates. Do the math, that's a great value at 499, loaded with features. This is Ankeny and Tierney Virco with a wonderful family home, a lot of character and charm here. Renovated eat-in kitchen, French doors lead to a vaulted four-season room with a heated tile floor. Lots of updates, 435. And Jen Schuler, a former Great Iowa Home special feature and a $96,000 price drop. Take a look, we're talking bargain now, walkout ranch that is absolutely loaded for the 21st century, 899. Find us on YouTube at Iowa Realty TV. Like and subscribe. Well, it's time for our special home feature of the week, and I'm in Northwest Ankeny, Northwest 33rd to be specific. And Iowa Realty's Tierney Verco is waiting for me, and I haven't seen her for a while, so let's go say hi. Well, good morning. Good morning. Tierney, nice to see you. Good it's been a you. while. Good to see you. Tierney Virco with our Iowa Really Ankeny offices. Well, she's just a consummate pro. She has fun in this business. She loves working with people, and she's also extremely knowledgeable. And you have a wonderful home we're going to see. Thanks. Come on in. Let me show you around uh, a little let's bit. Let's have a look. Yeah. Absolutely. We're at uh, 924 Northwest 33rd Street. Uh -huh. And welcome. So 36th Street, which is one of the main thoroughfares east and west, is maybe, what, a half a mile north? Yep. Something like that. Yeah. And I noticed right away, as we look through the sunroom here, uh, you don't have any backdoor neighbors. No, we don't. It's super quiet back there, peaceful. Uh, we have a church behind us, and they make really great neighbors. And the parking lot works for roller skates. That's right. <laughs> and bicycles. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, terrific. So uh, nuts and bolts here. Uh, Two-story. Two-story. Five bedrooms. Yeah. A lot of space. We've got five bedrooms. We've got four bathrooms. Uh, lower level is completely finished. Daylight windows with an extra bedroom, bathroom, rec room. Um, and then we've got about 3,300 square feet in total. Wow. And let's talk about the price because when I heard it was 435, I did some math and that's a great price. It's a great price, isn't it? And especially being that it's move-in ready. There's been so much done here. Uh, there was a kitchen remodel uh, in 2020. Mm -hmm. The primary bathroom was completely remodeled and is just gorgeous. That was done in 2018. Yeah. Um, we've got a brand new deck, new sliders, and so it's just really ready for you to move in and, and make it yours. Well, and this family had three children, and there's plenty of room for those three kids. And again, uh, schools, parks are all nearby. This is really a great spot. It's perfect. Well, we have more to see. Let's take a look. Let's do it. All right. So now some extras we ought to talk about. Yeah. This beautiful hard surface dining room table and six chairs stays with the property. It does. When they did the kitchen remodel in 2020, she uh, designed this table mm -hmm. to coordinate with the kitchen. So she wants to nice. leave it for the new owners. Yeah. And part of that remodel was this beautiful floor too. Yeah. Right? All the wood floors in the home were refinished. All right. And big living room. TV stays. TV stays as well as the play set out there. Wow. Just a really big open concept living space with lots of room to roam. We always have uh, viewers who are kind of unfamiliar with Ankeny in particular or the Metro in general. 
Uh, talk about proximity of schools and thoroughfares and, and, yeah. and recreation all around us here. This is just a great place for families. It is. Ankeny in general is amazing about that, keeping parks and everything around. In this location right here, we're a block away from 36. We're two blocks from Ashland Ridge uh, Elementary School and right across the street from a park. So and Centennial High School, not far away. Not far away. So yeah. always really close. And Sailorville Lake and... Uh, Big Creek and the Gulf and the stables and all that. That's your backyard when you live in Ankeny. That's right. All right. It's a wonderful place to be. Mike, I just wanted to mention the four season room we're in right now is comfortable all year round because it's temperature controlled with heat and AC and in floor heating in the floors. Just great. Uh, in review, five bedrooms, four bath areas, 3,300 square feet, a great family neighborhood and a home that shows virtually brand new and it's priced at 435. 435. Yep. It's a bona fide bargain. Tierney Virco, Ankeny, Iowa, really give her a call. You're going to love what you see. Thank you. Thanks Great for to coming. See you. Thank you. Go to Iowa Realty TV on YouTube and Facebook for our featured home tours. Hear about communities where you might want to live, home design trends, and more. For what's happening in the housing market, it's Iowa Realty TV. Hello, we would like to invite you to Iowa Realty's next career night. My name is John Dunn, I'm the general manager for Iowa Realty, and joining me is broker associate Zach Snyder with the West Des Moines Mills Crossing office. Zach, welcome. Appreciate it, John, thank you. Zach, you've been around this for a few moons now. What would you say are some of the characteristics you see in successful agents? I would say our most successful agents are the ones that have a good, solid understanding of how the real estate industry works. They're solid at understanding of how Des Moines area works. And they're also those that are interested in helping people achieve their financial goals while also helping people understand the value of home ownership as well as the selling process. Yeah, and they also have, they're also very likable. Uh, people are generally gonna like you and, and you have to have a lot of drive. We see that too with all of those. Those things are all true. What we do over career night with just one hour, we go through what it takes to get your real estate license. And some have a lot of drive, they do it in 30 days. Some take 60 depending on their schedule, but we go through all the educational requirements, what you need to have, monthly expenses once you do join, and what it takes to find a sponsoring broker like I Realty. So it's really quite a quick process, but uh, you've been a part of that too. A lot of open questions for you to ask. It's very conversational. If there's anything in your mind that you're thinking, maybe you added some clarification, needed something, this is the perfect opportunity for you to come, ask those questions, have anything that you want to get out, and see what the answer is for you. We'd be happy to go over that with you. And what we have done is we've teamed up with the Iowa Real Estate School, a team of professional educators, plus we have 40 plus uh, licensed uh, certified instructors to help with the pre-licensing work that needs to be done to get your real estate license. But more importantly, the post-licensing work, we hit it. Zach is one of our certified instructors. He does a great job of, of doing the onboarding and also all the docs we need to have when you get your license. But in just one hour, it's pretty quick and, and full of Q&A, questions and answers for you. Uh, you can figure out how to get your license, and we're actually hiring right now. Is that correct, Zach? Absolutely. And we truly pride ourselves of being in that one-stop shop for anybody who's interested in a career change, somebody that's interested in the real estate industry, somebody that's really interested and dedicated to, to helping themselves succeed and definitely understand the process of buying and selling a home. Yeah. We've got locations. We've got 11 metro offices in the Des Moines area. We've got an office in Cedar Rapids and also in Iowa City. So we have it covered. Um, it's a great place to get your license and get started. And it's an easy process to RSVP for our next event. All you're gonna have to do is go ahead, take out your phone, scan the QR code that you're gonna see on the screen, and we'd love to see you out here. Hey, it's time for the home stretch. Let's go to Norwalk and Angie Deemer with open house today, one to four. Four bedrooms and three baths. This nice ranch backs up to Legacy Golf Course with some wonderful views and a price of $4.95. Of course, the clubhouse and the pool, part of the package. Sean Preston in Newton, Iowa, three bedrooms, three baths, a well-maintained home, move-in ready. Primary bedroom with additional storage and bath, lower level partly finished, nice deck to the back of the home, $259.9. This is Indianola now, Ted Grove with perhaps the lowest price on new construction in the metro. 
This is the Primo 3 plan from Savannah Homes. Three bedrooms and two baths and a price of $328.9, open house two to four. Now to the other side of the metro to Dallas Center, growing community of those terrific Dallas Center Grimes schools. Deborah McGee will be there for open house one to four, four bedrooms and three baths. Paramount the Builder, $398.9 for this one. And here's another one at $384.9, another wonderful ranch. Tax abatement in place, 19 minutes to Jordan Creek. Get in there while the community is growing. Good opportunities in Dallas Center. Next up, we go to Adele, Gerald Steenhook with a three bedroom, three bathroom home. Brand new listing, uh, 2021 home here. It's a two story with contemporary flair, smart home automation, lower level potential, and a price of 349. Polk City now, Lacey Sibley. This home with uh, five bedrooms, five baths, triple garage, more than 3,500 square feet here, two sided fireplace, chef's kitchen, geothermal, 639. Pleasantville and Michelle Green with a brick walkout ranch on better than three and a half acres just outside the city limits, paved road, wonderful setting, three bedrooms, four baths, 649.9, that's Pleasantville. This is also Pleasantville, Maria Dillon with a five bedroom home, four bath areas, 22 acres here, private country living close to the city, a lot of updates, uh, 3,675 square feet for 675. This is Mitchellville, of course, uh, near Altoona in the Southeast Polk School District, uh, Steve Camarona with a one bedroom home, one bath area, updated kitchen, two living areas, and the big yard across from the park, 119.9. Guthrie Center now to the west of the Metro, Tammy Albright with a three bedroom, two bathroom home. Turn of the century charmer here on a brick road, price tag of 163.9, a great price in Guthrie Center. Next up, townhome living, this is Granger, Iowa, Lee Scroggins with a three bedroom, three bathroom townhome, well cared for, neutral colors, close to Grimes, brand new listing here, fully fenced yard for $239.9. Lake Diamond Head now, of course the boating, the fishing, the beaches, the golf, the ATV trails, the playground. This two bedroom home on the lake, priced at $209, 35 minutes from Des Moines, Jessica Coyle with a Dexter address. This is charming Madison County and Winterset with those great schools and a quick commute into the Metro. New construction, Bob Weeks would love to show you this three bedroom, three bathroom home. Lots of quality features and a great price in Winterset of 351. Well, that's our show. Thanks for watching. Special thanks to Scott Sumter with Bike Iowa and Derek Lord with the Economic Development Department here in Ankeny talking about what Ankeny is going to do in terms of that red carpet for the Ragbri riders when they hit town in just a few days. Thanks also to Tierney Virco with Iowa Realty uh, for the tour of that wonderful home on Northwest 33rd in Ankeny. Thank you uh, for watching again and don't forget us on Facebook and YouTube and at 10 o'clock every Sunday morning in our 40th year on Local 5. Mike Pastel next time on The Home Show. Have a great week.